Hello everyone, welcome to Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Aungwejana and you tuned in to Tuesday the 19th of September 2023's Rhapsody Reading. Today's title is An Excellent Character. While you're still at that, please remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. Turn on the post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Make sure that you like these videos, share them with your loved ones, and don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. You can say Amen, you can say praise the Lord, and acknowledge the good work that we are doing by bringing the message each day to you. Praise the Lord. The opening scripture is Proverbs chapter 11, verse 5 to 6 with the message translation, which reads as follows. Moral character makes for smooth traveling. An evil life is a hard life. Good character is the best insurance. Crooks get trapped in their sinful lust. Pastor says in Genesis chapter 49, the Bible gives us insight into Jacob's final words to his sons. In addressing his firstborn, Reuben, Jacob acknowledged the immense potential he possessed. He described him as his firstborn, his might, the beginning of his manly strength and vigor, and emphasized that his birthright gave him the preeminence in dignity and power. However, Jacob highlighted Reuben's character flaw and how it ruined his future. Unstable as water, Thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to thy father's bed, then defiledest thou it. He went up to my couch. That's Genesis 49 verse 4. Despite the promises and blessings associated with being the firstborn and the encomiums of being Jacob's strength, the strongest of all his sons, Reuben would not attain the greatness he could have achieved. Your character as a person is very important. It doesn't matter the prophecies that may have been spoken over your life and who gave them. Your character can ruin prophecy and ultimately your life just as Reuben's character ruined his life. God's desire is for the prophecies spoken over your life to come to pass. He wants his good He wants his good word concerning you to be fulfilled just as he has said it. Your role is to recognize his lordship and behave correctly, walking in his righteousness. How important it is to walk faithfully in alignment with God's will in his light and have an excellent character. Now you can better understand the importance of the Spirit's prayer through Paul in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16. For you to be strengthened with excellence by the Holy Spirit in your inner man. Hallelujah. Let us take the prayer. Say, Dear Father. I'm aligned with your will and walk in your light faithfully. I recognize the importance of character and living uprightly according to your word. Thank you for the wisdom to learn from the examples in the scripture and to make choices that honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. For further studies, we read of Proverbs 11, verse 5 to 6, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 11, and Romans chapter 12, verse 2, with the NIV Bible version. If you're on the one-year Bible reading plan, today we read Colossians 3, verse 26, and chapter 4, verse 1 to 20, and also Isaiah chapter 1 to chapter 2. If you're on the two-year Bible reading plan, Today we read Luke 23, verse 34 to 43, and Second Samuel chapter 11 to chapter 12, all of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I've come to the end of today's Rhapsody reading. Do join us tomorrow as we read the message titled, 
It's a life of joy. Praise the Lord. This is Information with Tabiso. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a beautiful day.